So, um... We don't have to wait a second, because we're not on YouTube <laughs> right anymore. Right as of now. Well, we were trying to get it set up for YouTube, and it wouldn't let us, and then we checked the channel... And apparently we're restricted from streaming? Yeah, I guess they didn't like the Digimon stream. But they didn't send us a notification. Yeah, they, they felt the need to revoke our YouTube streaming without letting us know in any way. Yeah, the, the Digimon video itself was, like, copyrighted by two separate people, but they're like, no, it's okay, you can you can, you can. Yeah, there are it. no viewing restrictions. They're totally okay with leaving it up, but uh, d don't stream it. Unlike, you know, those 50 other channels that are just constantly live-streaming an entire series. God, I, ha I had to think it was a glitch because there was no notifications for it at all. Like, there's got to be a way they're getting away with that. I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> do you think the video's, like, rotated so it's, like, 30 degrees off? <laughs> that, and the entire thing is a Dutch angle? Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, we're here to play Sly, guys. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm because I I, I beg for it. I don't know who Bell's begged for, it, but I beg for it. I don't mind playing Sly. We we got a lot that we're playing right now, a lot to get yeah. through. Yeah. And plus, this is one of the games that you can play as opposed to you and your not, yeah shitty wrist. I can play this with my shitty back. We got Sly. We're doing. We still got to finish Rayman. We got uh, Pokemon, Mario RPG. I guess. Yeah. You do. Why don't you like that game? I don't know, I just don't. You're weird. It just doesn't do anything for me. And maybe Illusion of Guy will do something for you. That game's weird. Yeah. Alright. Like the setting in Mario RPG feels very arbitrary and random. It doesn't feel like a Mario world, and that's probably because it's so square softy. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're uh, you're, you're seeing. Ah, right, we're going down to the bayou. <laughs> going to have some gumbo. Going to Louisiana. Louisiana. What's the booze of choice there? Oh, I don't. Uh, the third member of the Five was the infamous Voodoo Priestess. Voodoo Priestess is that the High Priestess? <laughs> we're still watching JoJo. Yep. Other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few oh, a little necromancer. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Okay. Chief Mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break Chief the Mystic. I guess in a world where you have blatant magic, that's a necessary role she for your crime organization. Here. Yeah. Last known sightings claim she made out of civilization. Like, Do the bad guys in the found. second game have a Chief Mystic? Uh, they don't really have any magic doers. No. Vicious voodoo. Oh no! Except she never really uses like voodoo on us. She kind of makes people dance a little bit, but that's about it. The dread swamp path. All right, let's hope this takes me shorter time to get used to the controls again. Let's see. What's my uh? Do you guys know the way to Miss Ruby's? Yeah, it's back the way you came. Oh god! <laughs> oh fuck, them some mosquitoes! <laughs> them big mosquitoes! Oh, you're. Okay, good. Oh, that's right! I'm gonna be doing this voice the entire fucking stream, by the way, you know this! Oh god. Oh yeah, you're immune to water now. Yeah, I just. That, I'm, that's actually I'm glad. very convenient. Sorry, Sly, but this is one mission you'll have to accomplish without me! Okay. <laughs> Verifiable paranormal activity. Verifiable? God damn it. Swamp hillbillies believing in ghosts and shit. I'm down for a horror chapter that's in the swamp. We don't get that very often. Swamp horror? Yeah. Oh, there's a section of Resident Evil 4 that deals with swamp horror. Yeah. Like, Las Plagas people just come out of the fucking... They just come at you with axes from the mud. Oh, right. We got the rail walk from... What was the a bulldog dude? Yeah. Who we defeated with mysticism. <laughs> he was a vampire. Yeah. Clearly. Clearly. Alright. So, now we can uh, now we can fucking Tarzan George of the Jungle our way through the That's basically the same as the other technique. Yep, that's every technique in the game is it oh don't go down, don't oh. go down, you gotta get those first. Yeah, I, 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 I saved myself. I saved it. Every technique in the game is just press circle. You're gonna have to bounce on it. Right. 
Well, it's a good thing. If I overshoot, there's no, uh, no consequence. Yeah. Now, hold on. I want to check to see if I missed something. Okay, is there nothing behind the statue? Uh... Can you camera around there? Nothing. Uh, okay, nothing. you're good. All right. Hey, you voodoo, cause I do! <laughs> voodoo! Who you voodoo, bitch! Voodoo! Oh god, Jeez, James Bond fought a voodoo fuck in, in one of his movies. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, Baron Samedi. Oh, oh whoops. I, you fight him in Goldmember, he's the secret boss, right? Uh, yeah, Goldeneye, he's, uh... Goldeneye, and, 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 Goldmember. The, here's the thing... Got a rail! Oh, that's, this is real a really good chapter to have this water ability. Yeah, to give, to give you, like, something that makes this, like, not, like, suck at all, and it's, like, really easy. Then again, there's no reason Sly should be drowning. It's just it's, it won't be as swaggy if, if you know. We really should have watched the the Princess Frog before this chapter. <laughs> like, that should have been required homework. <laughs> required homework. Watch Princess Frog. Cause so I've we, never seen that. I mean, need to. Oh, we need to. You want to do it? You want to watch it after this? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, don't think, I don't know if I'll have time after this. Fair enough. Yeah, battle swamp music. Yeah, because, you know, mis giant, mis like, uh, Jurassic-sized mosquitoes are totally a threat to, uh, to oh, those me. fuckers will give me malaria. Oh, can you get there from here? <laughs> I think so. I can I can make it work. I'll do something. I don't know what you're trying to do. I think so I'm trying off. to do something. Mm. Just jump from How the ledge it? over on the left. That's too easy. Just try it! Nope. Nope. Okay, so you're not gonna get there till later. Ah, that's disappointing. All right. Can you jump back up at all? I can kind of do it. Let's see if there's anything. No, there's nothing at the top of the mine. It looks like. I don't think. I'm just no. practicing. The fuck was that? Some. Maybe you can get triggered to it the later. alarm. Oh, you can wait. get to it later. Oh, okay. Well, I was gonna see if I can maneuver my way around, but I guess not. Back up. Oh. Is there anything at the top? Hold on. I can't move the camera right now. That's not. not. Nope. I'm so glad that I can't die in, like, falling in water anymore. I don't know why that was a thing. How many times would we have restarted the level by now? Oh. Uh-oh! Oh. Okay, we can- Ah, no! I set myself on fire! We can just whack it, I guess. What a- what a weak, giant monster that was. Was that the one we were looking at? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. So now we're on the other side and going back up. Don't fall here, it's bad. Oh, hey, y'all one of them Nolan raccoons? That means we a kid! Oh. <laughs> Fucking little swamp Cthulhu's. You know, they're, uh, they're out and about. Fuck you! We're fighting deep ones in Louisiana. Of course we are. You know, that, uh, that Louisiana is just like a natural haven for ghosts. Yeah. Like witchcraft and stuff. It's a nexus point for dark energy. There's a lot of spite and regret in uh, Louisiana. Oh yeah, can't imagine why there would be. Don't know. <laughs> no clue. It's a mystery. It has a perfectly peaceful history. No, nope, no intruder. I guess I'll look up here now. Laziest guard. Oh, oh. Yeah, you gotta hold it. Yeah, I know. Huh? Oh, I guess it was nothing. Wow, some guard you are, guy. Oh, he's got a fucking key blast ready to fire. Cause he's a mage! Get it? He's magic. Voodoo mage! Voodoo wizardry magic. You use a curse, and you just got to approach magic from a scientific approach. You know, you got to understand it. Voodoo guards. 
<laughs> so, going back to James Bond, he, when he was fighting, so they put like a top hat on like a. Okay, I should probably be stealthy here. You could uh, use your hat bomb. <laughs> Let him nah, walk into it. Faster. We're okay. I'm just gonna. You just walked past. You have to destroy the charms. Remember? Oh yeah, I'm just grabbing the bottles first. Because I'll probably have to restart the. Uh, the nah, it won't immediately if... end it. Okay. Once you get all the charms. I'm just trying to. All right, we're down one bottle. Up. Oh. Okay. So he, they put a top hat on a grave, yeah. and when they did, he just came out from the grave, and James Bond just shot him once in the head, and like the chest and the head, and then he exploded. Oh, the Baron? Yeah, and they came back up from the grave, and all the people who James Bond were fighting just looked at him and were just like, like bowing down in reverence. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and that the second time, they James Bond then like shoved him in, in like a fucking pit filled with snakes. And that seemed to kill him, except at the very end when it was revealed he was still alive, and they didn't follow up on it. Yeah. Because, because fucking James Bond dealing with supernatural voodoo shit is a bit too much for the series, I believe. Yeah. This is a series that went into space. Oh, they're all dead. Alright. Okay, well there's the thing, we just need one more bottle somewhere. Really hope I didn't miss any, that would suck. Back up here somewhere? On the thing? Maybe. I'm looking. I know I fucking missed it. Well, I'll look around the bottom some more. Uh, yeah, you had you didn't get a good look down here because of the guards. What about the smack middle of it? Good point. Worth a try. Uh, so that's the chest over there. Doesn't help that everything's green. Yeah, it's not quite... This is an HD remaster. It does have one on the PS3. Oh, well, we got one of those. So... They did a Sly 1, 2, and 3 collection. Oh, 3? That's a game you don't have. Uh, we do have it. I oh, bought it do? recently, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. So once we get through Sly 2, we'll be in new territory for both of us. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Doesn't seem to be down here. Ah, drat. Alright, let's go back and find it. I just wanna make sure I... It's not here. Absolutely sure. Because uh, there was one on the edge that I... I'm sure. I saw it, barely caught Maybe Okay, yeah, it's not, there's another one. Alright, backtracking. Fuck it. Oh, uh... One of the seasons of, uh, of American Horror Story took place in Louisiana. That was, a uh, Coven. Yeah. It was with witches and shit. There was apparently this, uh, girl... You're running in circles again, because you're talking about something. Uh, try to figure out how to get from here to over there. I wonder if we can. Oh, no. Oh, no! Is this a no-backtracking level? Oh! Oh, shit! Is that it? That looks like it might be it up there. Yep, that's a Well? Problem. Here, let, give it to me. I'll see if I can finagle something. Okay. Don't strain yourself. What am I gonna do? Fall in? Oh. Just short. Motherfucker. Uh, so, Coven. Yeah, Coven, it was, uh... Coven, uh, dealt... There... The beginning of Coven was like, kind of stuck out as being especially fucked up even by my standards. They, there was this slave and this girl decided that, uh, that she was going to, like, have sex with this slave, this white girl. And then when, she, when he, when the mother, this old, this old woman, like, found out, this racist old woman found out, she just turn, slaps her daughter and yells out, You might as well have rotted with the family dog! And I'm like, Jesus Christ, lady! Yeah. And then, uh... And then he... he and then you know what her, her revenge was? Why? How she was gonna show this dude? She chained him up, right? Yeah. And then she took a hollowed out, like, uh, bull's head, placed it on his head, 
And that was it. That was the whole punish. That was the whole punish. I'm like, uh, and he was like, he just, he seemed like it, it wasn't very pleasant for him. I guess it kind of smelled bad, but it's not like she was, uh... We're gonna have to do this level again. Oh my god. Alright, fine. How do we kill ourselves? Oh, we can't kill ourselves. No. And that we are, and even if we did... Well, I'll just have to come back again later. Oh, that sucks. Ah. I can't believe I missed that. Alright. We need to run. We are running. No, there's like a, a run ability you get. I'll come back and try to speed run it. Yeah, we can do it now. I mean... That's what I'm doing. Alright. Your speed... You got more to say about Coven? Coven. Uh... You know what they, so this uh, voodoo priestess who was this uh, this black dude's girlfriend decided that she he was she was gonna get her revenge on on the on the old woman right yeah so she basically took her and like buried her but kept her alive and then she woke up in the modern day where most of the story takes place okay. and she saw a picture. Uh, <laughs> she was like watching TV, just amazed by it. Yeah. And she sees Barack Obama was president, and she's like, "You lie, you magic box!" <laughs> that season was weird. So the, the the voodoo black girl was like in disbelief that Obama was the president. No, not that. No, the other one, the the fucking uh, the white, the one who put the bull's head on the black dude. Oh wait, we can't. Oh Can shit! Can we not? Oh, but how are we supposed to? Did I just? Did we just fuck ourselves? No, there are no permanent missables in this game. Wait, back. Oh, okay. I guess that'll work. Maybe. Hopefully, please let it work. As long as we enter from the hideout, it should be good. Can you drive us all the way back to the front? We missed something. So do we have to collect all those bottles again? No. No, okay, good. I'm not gonna play. I... Alright. And then there was the Roanoke. Season, right? Roanoke. Oh god damn. That was the one in which it was all taking place in like a fake well half of it took place on a fake reality show, like one of those uh I was uh like the ones with like reenactment actors. Yeah. So you have like a set of actors playing like one character who were like given their actual life experiences. Then you have another set of actors who played the reenactment actors. Yeah. <laughs> they were like talking about their dealings with the Roanoke ghosts. Don't want to go. Yeah, I just remember. Did we know where exactly this bottle is? It, it was, was on hanging top it up of the on thing, a rope. Right? Yeah, it was on the top branch where you fought those two Cthulhu things. Yeah. Or where I fought those two Cthulhu things. I've never watched American Horror Story, so this is all you. Yeah, it's uh. Basically, if you see a ghost in Roanoke, in order to like banish them, you, you all you have to do is yell out Croatoan. And, and you're and, good. And you're good. They disappear. So you hit them once, and it separates the head from the body. Then you gotta, you gotta, gotta both kill them, them both. Because that's how that works. There it is. There we go. Alright. Careful, that dude is still... Here, I got it. I'm fine. <laughs> Voodoo. So who Voodoo would wanna... Motomor. Who would want to steal from a fucking voodoo priest? Whoops, that's not the move I wanted to do. No. Fuck off, Bentley. Back. Out. Leave. But so much faster just whack him with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> it's like But but they're guards, they'll alert each other. <laughs> Alright. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, 
then the combination has got to be 588. Right. I did the math right. I was hoping I'd get lucky like that dude in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> No explanation for why he's like so lucky. It's okay, so there's this guy, right? Season he's, zero of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, and he's just like really lucky. Everything he does just works out for him. Yeah, he wins dumb everything luck. immediately. Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling Oh, we're Sonic the Hedgehog now. Oh, 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 too lewd. All right. No, 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 I want to test the roll. <sighs> then I'll give it back to you. That's slow. I know. I wanted to do that too. <laughs> Zzz, gotta go oh, fast. Oh, what? Go gotta go fast. Oh fuck! They're onto me. <laughs> I'll hide out on the safe that has my calling card in it. <laughs> Can't see me, I'm on top of something. Yeah, Mobians. <laughs> yeah, Mobian. No, they still catch you. It's not that useful, I guess. Uh, well, I mean... I don't know why you'd use the roll to begin with. It doesn't seem like it's the best at, uh... You'd think it would make you go faster. Yeah, it doesn't really. It's not really... Maybe it's, like, useful for, like, speedrunning somehow. Maybe. That seems about right. Alright, let us go to the hideout. I'm sure it'll be good against enemies that don't, like, alert each other. Just like the mooks. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to Giant Skeleton Crocodile Head. The, the Giant. Mammoth Graveyard. Mammoth Graveyard. No, it's the Elephant Graveyard. The Elephant Lion King. Yeah. We're going to the Elephant Graveyard because it's... All these villains need better intercoms. <laughs> we have two villains whose electrical equipment are ruined by water. Yeah. And one of them was ruined by just lack of upkeep because his bunch of dumbass dogs don't know how to work electronics. Yeah. They flooded the casino. That no, that's a juju barrier. You can't go through that. Sorry, voodoo, different game. So uh so something I, I I was watching this speedrun of uh, Resident Evil 7, which takes place in like the Bayou of Louisiana, I think. There's a portal you can go into. Uh, up there. Yeah. And uh, and there are Cross no the mine. there are no basements in Louisiana. The mine. Oh, okay. There are no basements in Louisiana because of flooding. Yeah, because it's all below sea level. No such thing as a Louisiana basement. Lair yeah. of the Beast. Lair, uh, that's a good, sounds like a good place to start. <laughs> Is this going to be a chase? Are we going to be running from a giant polar bear? I hope not. Okay, maybe. I think we are. What's with this industrial strength voodoo gate? Miss Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something out. <laughs> Am I about to play, like, the first level of Castlevania? What's with this music? It's very... It's very tense music. Yeah. Bloodborne goes Louisiana. Goes deep southern. So, yeah, we're gonna be going into our, her, uh, her pet enclosure. Candles! The perfect defense system! That bitch in Ronma Kodachi had a like evil pet she kept in her, in her pond. Oh, what was it? I don't remember if we oh, ever saw it or if it was just an abyssal monstrosity. It's just tentacles and nothing else. Ronma dear, you're. It's a total. Uh, you won't enjoy this situation. All right. All right. Uh, so we are inside. Don't know how smart this idea was, but, uh... Oh, fuck off. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna be something of a chase, so you're not gonna be... Don't expect to be able to go back for bottles. Uh... Then again, I, at least they seem to save progress. Just once you got them, you got them. So at least that's good. Yeah. We'll have to go on another beastie hunt again in order to, uh... Just don't fall in the water. <laughs> Raccoon, go in the water. You don't come out of the water. Ah, what? no! Such accuracy! 
Much uh, wow. Please accuracy when you got fucking uh, speed. You think, you think people care about miniguns for their accuracy? Yeah. You don't need to be accurate when there's like 50,000 of the of those things like coming at you. Yeah, that dude in Kenshin proved it when he killed a bunch of ninjas. <laughs> there's a sneaky one up there. Am I missing something? Yeah, it's right above you. No, uh, the others. No, I don't think so. Uh, I'm gonna double check. Uh... I don't think you've missed any thus far. Alright. If we get to the safe, and, and we miss some, I'm gonna be... We'll just have to go back again. Yeah. Seems like it. Safe point. What's above you? Is that a hook? No, it's just a branch. That's a hook. I still want to say that the physics in this game are pretty good. They are, yes. Much better than Rayman swinging physics, no matter what anyone says. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Oh no! Hey, good thing I survived. Nope. Oops. Uh -oh. Can you not grab on again? Oh, there you go. Oh, fuck. Guy! Just ignore him! Jump to the next one! There we go. For fuck's sake. Fucking spiders. Alright. Sly Cooper for Smash 5. You know, he can't be. He's already uh, part of the PlayStation All-Stars shit. Yeah, the only character without a shit without a I'm guard. I'm abusing the fuck out of this not being able to drown stuff. Kinda. <laughs> hey, it's there! They... Yeah. This is one of those games where you get, like, a really broken ability once you 100% it, but then you have nothing left to do, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. What was the proof? You can, you're just invisible. Yeah, you can move around anywhere at full speed invisible at all times. Did you see those reeds, Mo? There's something huge under there. You better get going. Better hey, get going. It's fine. It's okay, we haven't triggered the flag yet. Probably don't want to fall in the water. I'm fine, everything's good. Well, gee, Scoob, we probably don't want to hang around here. Zombies! Real zombies! At least your gumbo was good. <laughs> they are the hottest peppers in all of Louisiana. Jinkies. <laughs> that was a turning point for the, for the Scooby-Doo franchise then. Well, it was cool the first time when the monsters were real. Yeah. Then they kind of got... Overused after that. Well, no. Were there a bunch of like witch pop stars in that movie? No, that was the second one. Oh yeah. And there were Wiccans. Different thing. Oh, they actually fought a. No, I thought. Right. Are you sure it wasn't the first? Or the right. That's it. Yeah, it was. I'm positive it was the second one. The second one had the Wiccans pop band, and the witch's ghost. No, the 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 witch. <laughs> Because the zombies were, were the witches in the first one. The second one had to do with aliens. No, the third one had to do with aliens. Are you sure? I am absolutely positive. Okay. Go back. You, you know, the first we... one was Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. The second one was Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost. The third one was Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders. The fourth one was Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. The fifth... I, do, do I need to go okay, on? Okay, fine. You've, you've proven your Scooby-Doo street cred. Fuck it! Stop going down there! I even saw the luck... Two, the first two live-action Scooby-Doo's after before they went oh. straight to TV, straight to straight to nowhere. <laughs> he loves this vine. You got them all up to that point. You yeah. just got to make the drive tra the vine transfer. Okay, yeah. how about how about this? Uh, Sly Cooper for uh, for Tony Hawk. Sure, we had fucking Django Fett. Why not? I think you just jumped ahead in the level. Quite a ways. You gotta go back now. Yeah, that way. Uh oh! There That's are some... fine. I got it. There, those Let bottles. Let me get my just... bottle. They fell into this thing. I want my bottle. Now, if he bites you into the thing, are you just gone? You're gonna have to die. You have to die. They're gone. That's fine. So yeah, if the platform is no longer there, I guess you do die. It's fine. See, I can do this. Okay, now we got him. Two more. Oh, look at... 
Bleh. What a very casual, slow-moving snake. I mean, that's the big myth, is that something that big can't really be all that fast, because it's got a lot of weight to trip to, like... Well, no, it can be. It's just not being. Don't panic. There's, there's the last one. Okay. There we go. Oh, yep. shit! That thing's fast! Will we have time to input okay, the Okay, I say it was slow, but... No, it's just using the, like, by the, by the crow flies. It's using different pathing. It is okay, very listen. Leisurely, though. I, I'm sorry for interrupting your jungle, but this isn't the way we should be... Now... Safe. Where's the safe at? Over there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was cool for the first Scooby-Doo movie that, oh, the monsters are real, it's this big crazy thing now. And then they did it again for the second movie. It was okay. <laughs> what? I had to overcome some personal demons. Personal demons? Bentley is like afraid of vaginas and he had to go on a porn site to find the clue or something. No, even better, because it's four fours, right? Yeah. He had to he had to deal with the fact he had to deal with the fact that his Japanese cousin died on the fourth floor in the forty fourth room. Yeah. Oh, that sounds useful to Bentley, but useless to us. I should be able to tap the duty roster in each hideout and protect guard information into... Oh, we got the compass. Yeah, good job. You're... Modern computer hacking. It'll be useless when they develop quantum uh, cr cryptography. Did the third one turn out to have actual aliens, or was it all just them wacky? It did, but that wasn't the main plot. The main plot was just dudes pretending to be aliens. Yes, for, uh... A scheme, and then the other two aliens were like, "Our job is done here. We're leaving now." And it was that point and after that, after the first two movies, they just went to the movies, just being extended episodes of Scooby Doo. Yeah, which I mean, it's better. I, is it better or worse than like, what the fuck is up with this frame rate? Is the frame rate doing something weird? There was some weird blurring going on. Uh, no, not my candles. We destroy candles, it'll take out their, uh... Oh, can we smash into there? No, we go around, maybe? Yeah, we gotta go around. Sneaky. The bone train! <laughs> gotta climb the bone vine! The bone ladder. Who constructed this? A very bored voodoo priest. And for what purpose, other than for... Thieves? <laughs> Decoration? Yeah, sure. Hey, look at this bone vine! Wow, this is sturdy. You can banjos. <laughs> is this a Murray level? The way to open up that voodoo gate is by lighting all twenty-five tiki torches with the flamethrower. Flamethrower. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Are we are we gonna fight the Duck Dynasty guys? You need fuel from the flamethrower, and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. What the fuck? We gotta run over fish for fuel. It ain't a Murray level, don't stress, it's worse. Yeah, I, I don't remember liking this. Uh, I don't remember it being too hard either, though. Oh, I, it doesn't start with any... Oh, dang it. Yeah. You gotta collect the fuel and then use your... And there's swamp a, flamethrower! And there's only enough for, uh, for one burst. Because, you know... Do they go out? I don't know. Probably that's what that timer's for. Now, they told us this is gonna be a bad idea, but we never listened to bad ideas, so we done gotta take this swamp skiff and we done mount a flamethrower on it <laughs> so we can light them tiki torches and have a real good time! <laughs> is that what they do on Duck Dynasty? Uh, is that what the show's about? Like, uh, they blew up a beaver dam using, like, napalm and dynamite. Ah, so. that's close enough. Alright, listen, fi fish! Fi now, fish! Bo's, Bo's crazy enough to try anything, so we gonna send him out. He's gonna be driving a swamp skiff today. How you feeling, Bo? <laughs> it's more like Boomhauer. They, they just talk more slowly than that. They're... Yeah. Well, I could be, I could be a, a fast southern guy. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna make it this time. Yeah. The piranhas are scared of you. Yeah, normally I, piranhas are the one chasing me down, not the other way around. It's kind of refreshing. But, this is for all those times I died in, uh, in, uh, Tomb Raider 3. 
in that jungle level. I've never, to this day, I've never played a Tomb Raider game. We gotta fix that. I have, like, the complete collection on Steam. I've just never played them. I do, too. One of us can figure it out. Is there a trick I'm missing? No, you just have like, to multi, get... Multi Cranky multi says get good. Damn it. Why does it have to be like this? Not like this. Not like this. I could make it. Or short. Uh, no. So what's the failure condition? Is Miss Ruby come out and, and scold you and you have to run away? <laughs> Damn, Keys, get off my swamp! Get off my lawn! <laughs> Failure condition get is- Get out of my swamp, raccoon! Failure condition is that the ghosts come, like, oh, yeah. uh, Spelunky style and just kill us. The voodoo ghosts. Oh, God! We're wearing the fish up! Oh, Shrek, you gotta see this, it's cool! <laughs> this guy don't take a strong swamp skiff! And he's got a flamethrower on it! Don't get- Don't trouble me with such impudent- <laughs> Shrek sure would be Is pissed. Shrek Russian now? I, I can't do accents, you know this. I have trouble. Oh I my god. I don't care I'm what people are doing in Miss Swamp! As long as they're out of Miss Swamp! So you do care what, what goes on in your swamp. Because by that definition, they are in your- you know what, I'm not even gonna... They don't go out, says chat. That's good to know. Spending more time... Why the fuck do we need to... <laughs> Spending more time chasing the fish than anything. Uh, this is... You know what? At least when I was guarding Murray... I was like, you know, shooting things. Yeah. And I guess I kinda am, but. Four more, 20 seconds. Just need four fish. One. Okay. It's nice that these fish restock themselves. Okay, you're good. Oh, where where are they? Right behind you was one. One. Two. There's one on the right and then on the left. Left? Left? Left. There. Right in front of you. Ah, God damn it! <laughs> At least it's only two minutes! Yeah. Short respawn time. This fe this feels like a Spyro-esque minigame. Yeah, it does. Like one of those hard ones. Like I feel like the game design between Insomniac and uh, early Sucker Punch was pretty similar. Yeah, well... It was a good thing, I liked Insomniac. Yeah. What did Lumber and Somniac do in recently? Oh, recently? I don't yeah, know. They did Spyro and Ratchet, and then they... I think they sold Ratchet to someone. Were they the infamous guys? Or, is that, or were they Prototype? Infamous was Sucker Punch. Okay, so Prototype was, uh... Oh no, Last of Us was somebody else. Last of Us was, uh... I think that was Naughty Dog. Oh no, Uncharted was Naughty Dog. I think Last of Us and Uncharted were both Naughty Dog. So then what's it were they the ones that did uh uh Sunset Overdrive? Uh Insomniac did do Sunset Overdrive. Alright. That's a game I, I really wanted to play. Looked interesting. Too bad it's Xbox One only. Insomniac games. We don't sleep when making your games. There was that thing in some of the some of the Ratchet and Clank games that there was the secret Insomniac Museum that could only be accessed at a certain time of night on your system. That, that makes perfect sense. Marvel Spider-Man coming Oh, is that what they're doing? Oh, awesome. PlayStation 4. Ratchet and Clank PS4. So they made the Ratchet and Clank movie game. Oh, did they? The Unspoken for Oculus Rift. Oh, okay. They're getting into VR. News. I see the problem is like I lose track of where the empty ones are. Yeah, you do. I have to. Uh... All right, I'm leaning forward now. This is my serious face. Sunset Overdrive. Baker's dozen. What the hell is that?
Something to do. I think it's just something on their website. So I don't think they've had any really like huge several several game hits of late. Unless they're still ma they've been making Ratchet games to until now, in which case I guess that's their headline series. Whatever works. I haven't played past the first four Ratchets, like any of the Ratchet and Clank future games or anything. Uh, I haven't either. I haven't heard bad things about them, but I guess they're like similar if you like that style of thing. If, Hopefully. And, uh... Maybe once we get through the uh, Ratchet series streaming, I can uh, I'll be inclined to look hunt down the others. <laughs> I feel like I can get two at once with like one flame if I get good enough. I don't think you can. I'm gonna try it. Nope. I think you're just I bad at getting fish. Yeah. I outrun them, I just. Two more! Where you can do it, Jack! Okay, well, there's one. There's, there's two! Both of them. There they go. No! You there. did it! Woo! Now we gotta get up there in five s Oh, there's there's a state there's a phase two. What do you mean there's a phase two? Oh no, never mind. I saw another swamp up there and I got worried. <laughs> yeah, a phase two. Don't scare me like that. New highlights video out, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that only took me like what four attempts? Something like that. <laughs> all aboard the ball and roller coaster. All right, is that the? Is that all of them from over here? That was the only portal there. Uh, is there one? We That's... need one more key, I think. Up there. Uh, yeah, it looks like a place to go. With spikes. Oh, the spikes just are destroyed. Oh, wait, what the fuck? You're gonna have to go back down and around again. Is the way? You, isn't this the way you came in? No, it's not. You're right. You can keep going this way. No, I'm not sure. This is the intended exit vine from that level. But we'll just uh, reverse engineer it. Because... Yeah, fuck the system. Swamp oh no, this is where we came from. Yeah. Never mind. It's just that vine physics are so broken. I can just climb up them. This music still isn't as bad as the volcano in Paper Mario, though. Yeah. Up there? Have we been up there yet? I don't think so. Okay. Maybe. The, that one? No, the one you're thinking of. Oh, there's the a climbing there. vine on, on the right there, left. Oh, left. See it up on here? the trampoline? A rope. And yeah. all them climbing vines. Oh, you mean a rope? Look around. Yeah, I got nothing. Are you really? Look around some more. It's right in front of you. There you go. You found it. Shut up. A grave undertaking. Get it. We're gonna right. face some voodoo zombies. Oh gosh, I hope we have to do some zombie busting. Well, I'm sensing something on the spectrometer. There's totally something here. <laughs> there's a there's a wetness forming in my pants. <laughs> ah, ah, just blatant ghosts. We're okay. dealing with that now. All right. <laughs> there uh, are things in the middle. There you go. Camera oh God, to forty. You. That's, That's a lot. That is tons. Hopefully there will be big clusters of them. Hope so. Sly, you better be on your guard here. My paranormal scanners show this place is really haunted. Like for real, it's not like that fake stuff. We're gonna be attacked. 
We're gonna be attacked by the ghost of Yankee Jim from the Whaley House. He was a. Uh, you know what? In the minor 49. You ever, you ever heard of uh, the ghost of Yankee Jim? No. It is a ghost that was uh, uh, the ghost of a person who was uh, executed. Oh, you have to desecrate graves. That's how you kill the ghosts. He was executed because... Because he stole a boat. Okay. He, he attempted... I don't think it was even like a big boat. It was just like a dinghy or something. And they were like, no, fuck that. We don't allow that around these parts. It's how to Salem, your ass. Yeah. I guess that's not as bad as the war that was started over a pig. <laughs> yeah. Was that the... Was the War of 1812? Was that Sir Pig? There was some, uh, I think it was a U.S.-Canada War. Oh yeah, the only U.S.-Canada War. Oh, by the way, Russia tried to take out Canada the other day. Why? <laughs> exactly! That's what everybody else said! Like, what are you doing, Russia? They are too innocent. They are up to something. Oh, fuck. And the Canadians were like, it's good that America's got our back at least. Because everybody was like outraged, like, why don't you want to fuck with Canada, man? They're nice. They're, they're polite. They're, they got nothing going on. Canada's living proof that you can just be, you can have some level of security in the world just by virtue of being nice and not by military strength. Yeah. <laughs> because then if somebody fucks with them, it's like, why are you wanting to fuck with those guys? Alright, is that everything? So far. Uh, okay, I'm paranoid now, but... Oh, dude, you know what? Louisiana's like Lovecraft country. Yeah. Or I think, like, or maybe it's uh, New Orleans, I don't know, that whole mid-south. But okay, uh, go back and check that passage again now that the ghosts aren't bugging you. There you go. This is making me want to play Resident Evil 4 again. That was a, that was a fun uh, game. Just because of the swamp ghosts? Yeah. You chose the exact wrong time to do that. Oh, did I die? Mm-hmm. Huh. We were down to one hit. How embarrassing. Can I do that? You think Steven Urkel would be well, well watched if he had a Twitch channel? Uh, just with him just streaming in his, uh... In his character. He gets from... a headshot. Did I do that? <laughs> God, I don't know. I mean, he couldn't do any worse than, like, somebody like Dark Side Phil or something. Or, uh, the Tommy Wiseau Twitch. Oh, yeah, that was a thing, wasn't it? That, uh, the only time I've ever seen it was, uh, it loaded up him about to do, like, a speech at some place. And it was a guy he had holding the phone, and then he went. The guy went up to Tommy with the feed, and Tommy's like, "No, you shut that off." And that was it. That was the end of the stream. <gasps> <laughs> that sucks for you. Oh wow, my combat skills have gotten really lackluster now. Yes, you got to deal with the heads first. Oh, here we go again. You seem to be sucking. Have a horseshoe. That ghost isn't attached to a grave. It's just hanging out. Thankfully, with, with a game over, we still don't lose the bottles. This is when lives got meaningless. Dark Souls figured out difficulty in a post-video game lives economy. Yeah. Hey, cool. Extra life. Sweet. I never did finish F-Zero GX on stream. <laughs> never did, huh? No. I mean, I finished the game, but, uh... You just couldn't finish it on stream. No, I never got around to it. You think that's what fucked up your hand? On F-Zero GX? Yes. I believe it. Could have been part of it. I think it was probably more to do with just all the time on the computer and controllers, but... Yeah. What you need is, like, to inject your, like, wrist with, like, stem cells. Yeah. Yeah, that way the nerves will heal faster. 
Alright, hey. Uh, you're looking the wrong way. Why is the combat music still going? Who cares? We still got combat! Ugh. I feel like a fucking Lord of the Rings character. It's the opposite of tower defense. Tower offense? How many towers you got? Two? I'll take them both out. I guess they just assume after a point in the level you're always gonna be fighting. Oh, an extra life. Uh, there's some stuff back there. Uh, what? Gotta hold it. Forgot. Or will you not let me up, game? Do you think we had enough good stuff in the first in the first Spyro to merit some highlights? Eh, I'm sure we do. Worth having it than not having it at least. Someone posted co a comment on, like, the, a few comments on the first Spyro video we did, but I don't remember all, all what happened in that game. Did you check the other side? Uh, oh. Oh, for this one? For that tower. Nothing. Okay, this is getting actually really annoying. The music? <laughs> yeah. Now it's getting into volcano level territory. <laughs> now there's just nothing! Wait, I can solve this. Please, no stairway to heaven. Why would you think that? I don't know, I was just memeing. Is that a meme now? Uh, it was a, one of the original memes, like, no Stairway to Heaven, because Stairway to Heaven is, like, really fucking complicated, I guess. Oh, yeah? And it's also from a movie. I think it was, uh... I think... Oh! I know... Oh, I solved it! Same way as last time! What a whimsical bayou! What are those zombies doing? Oh, they're dancing! How cute! Why, this is a veritable wonderland of bayou. Alright. I actually can't play straight through the speakers. That was just my computer. Sounds like we're in a factory. It does, yeah. The Louisiana factories. This is the voodoo yeah, factory where that, we manufacture voodoo for use in voodoo that's experimentations? What, that's what Bayou Voodoo Hillbillies need is, uh, is some, uh, like, industry. Now just cause we hillbillies doesn't mean we ain't industrialized. God. We it, got ourselves some imports and exports and, uh... All, and other ports. Got a north... Y'all like gumbo? <laughs> You ever, uh, you ever, uh, heard of Tucker and Dale vs. Evil? That sounds familiar, but it's, I don't know what it is. So basically, you know how there's, like, a series of... There's, like, a horror movie trope of, Oh, they're being pursued by a bunch of evil hillbillies. Yeah. Well, it's basically like a bunch of college kids going into a town, like, a cabin in the woods to party, and they encounter a couple of hillbillies that look mean. Then we switch to the hillbillies' perspective, and they're like, Man, I just don't know what those college kids are up to these days. And they're t it's Tucker and Dale, and it's basically uh, a, co a, a horror comedy, and from the perspective of two hillbillies, you just want to lay low and chill. And these kids just keep thinking they're evil, so the kids hunt them down. Well, Tucker, I tell you one thing I learned from my exterminator days. Oh. Now, I think one of them's like good. They're just there to fish. It's it's really uh, it's really great. It's like the kind of movie I always. Like seeing is just that, ex like something except with the respective flip oh, reversal. Fuck, I missed that. Alright, I'm yeah, gonna go back. Going back! Crack through the bag! Oh, what? Oh, I skipped one! Dead. <laughs> I didn't mean to! <laughs> Oops! Oh. 
At least the music's fine. Is it fixed now? Yep. Oh, so, uh, you ever heard of the movie oh. Badass? I've, no, I've seen Kick-Ass. Okay, so Badass is a movie starring, uh, Danny Trejo, the, the machete. Okay. And, uh, and it's, it's like, you remember that one, uh, like, uh, vid viral video where that, uh, like, old, like, Vietnam veteran dude gets, like, fucked with on a bus and he fights? Like them, no. and he was wearing a shirt that said "I am a motherfucker." No, that, the movie was based on that. Oh, okay. It was just based on that, and it had a sequel where she teams up with uh, with getting too old for this shit. Uh, oh shit, what was his name? Uh, D Daniel Donald D Glover. Daniel Donald Glover. No, uh, shit, I don't remember what his name is. You're Why not, is this so you're not talking about Don Glover. Don Glo Donald Glover, I think. Yeah, Don, Don Glover. Yeah, him. And, and then... No, it... That's Childish Gambino, the Fuck! Okay, it... He was, uh, he played... I think he played that other dude in Lethal Weapon, the black guy. Uh, fuck if I know. Oh yeah, he was in that... He was, it was them, and they were... It was called Badass 2 Badasses. Then they had the third movie! And it was, uh... And they added a girl, like an old girl, like, uh, like an old... Woman, like sassy black woman type. It was yeah. called Badasses on the Bayou. <laughs> okay. And I haven't seen that movie, but I kind of want to. That sounds like two very unnecessary sequels for an unnecessary movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you know what? Danny Trejo needs work too. Just. Am I missing something? No. No. All right. Let's keep going. I don't like your look. No. Can't punish him. You just gotta oh, get what? that bottle behind the- That was fucking weird! What the- The controller's eating my inputs. Is that what's happening? I tried to, like, jump and hit circle, but it wasn't- it wasn't, like, doing it. GHOSTS! GHOSTS! Back up to gold. At least these are hittable ghosts. <laughs> yeah, it would see. It's not like they can hurt you, but you can't hurt them. That's because the, 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 the fam- the recu- the, the Cooper family, uh, staff is, uh, is enchanted with, like, magic. Oh, right, yeah. It, it allows it to hit incorporeal it's like, objects. It's like the, uh, it's like the Samurai Jack sword. Yeah, it's- It's a legendary artifact. It's a family artifact. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, shit! Guess we're coming back! <laughs> I'm... <laughs> no, I'm doing no, 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 no. it! No, Give no, it to no. me. Give it to Why? me. Why? Because I'm faster than you. Fuck you! Alright, in we go! All the ghosts Whoa. are back! <laughs> hey. You're injured. And I'm still faster than you. Then you, then you should know about those sweet level skips. Yeah? Oh, didn't you know I'm actually a Sly Cooper speedrunner? <laughs> and what's your time? Five hours? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> the mosquitoes are coming for you. Fuck off, mosquitoes! I had enough of your shit in Rayman. Buy you. You know, I've always found swamps to be very unexciting places. Yeah. It's dreary as fuck. Not a lot there besides just dirty water. Just mud. Filth and, and I guess ducks if you're into that sort of thing. Quack. <laughs> Very dangerous. You almost sliced your tail off. Nah. You got one chance before they turn red. They're very forgiving lasers, these ones. <laughs> Alright, we'll give you one more chance. Did we go all the way around this? Yeah, we did.
It's just like, it's just like, okay, where do we go next? Louisiana! Why? Wait, what, what, what kind of business is James Bond needing? I can't remember anything else besides that, like in that stupid James Bond movie. Besides the fact that, oh, he was fighting a voodoo priest. Was that Connery Bond? No, nah, that was uh, Roger Moore Bond, I ah. think. You know, the Australian one. Just fighting a fucking voodoo priest. Damn it. Dead. That's alright, I got a checkpoint. Swamps just have larger death zones and poisonous enemies. Says Chad. Oh, okay. I mean, it's not... It's fair. It's fairly apparent why they're common, like, video game locales. Yeah, not movies, though. Movie... They're not very. Scenic. I would. I would prefer a jungle, honestly. Yeah. If you're gonna, if you're gonna go for like, a creepy place, go for a jungle, cause a, a swamp just makes me sad. A jungle, there is like danger, cause oh, there could be a giant creature about to eat you, but a swamp, it's just you get. These mosquitoes are really hard to hit. Yeah. I'm... Boy, you're not even gonna keep my blood. You're gonna spit it out. What assholes! Dad! <laughs> Bob and Weave! I'm supposed to be good at that. You killed a bunch of ghosts, but you got killed by a mosquito? Them big mosquitoes! Jurassic sized mosquitoes. Yeah, 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 that, 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 that dang embarrassing. You think Dale can just ignore them? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Should we be- have we gone down there already? That was the entrance path, right? Yes. Where all those coins are? Yep, you skipped it. Skipped what? The- you skipped grabbing those coins when you jumped straight from the vine. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we got everything so far that we know of, and it's just the last area where the key is at. Or more. Where they at? Should be around here somewhere. You're rushing really far. There, there they go. are. And the code. Nine. Nine. Eight. This is kind of a get. I'm not a hundred percent sure. The, maybe the hieroglyphs. Uh, that's how it adds up. The kanji can be read multiple ways. Okay, that there we go. These are the blueprints to this Aww. facility. It's the board. Wait, give us a new ability. No. No, I gotta get the, the compass and the and the dungeon map. <laughs> Isn't that always disappoint you in like Legend of Zelda when you're like, oh a chest, this is gonna be the cool new item? Oh no, it's a stupid map. Yeah. Have you played the Link to the Past at all? I uh, I've not. Well, that should be our next one after uh, Super Mario RPG then. Maybe yeah. you'll be more enthused with that one. I don't think I will, but you can Why try. not? I don't like 2D Zelda. Or I haven't liked it. I just don't like the way it plays. You have you said, but you've never played Link to the Past. No, I haven't. Then you are... I then played you Zelda are, 1. Then you are... It, well, that Zelda 1 is not Link to the Past. Link to the Past is much better than Zelda 1. Okay. Because it actually tells you where you need to fucking go! Yeah. And you know, you can talk to people, yeah. and things aren't vague. But you still swing your sword in front of you on a 2D plane. Same basic gameplay. That's the only- that's your problem with it?! Because it's not fun to me! No, no offense if you like it. Oh, hey, we freed the snake. Oh, that's cool. I'm sure he'll be better. There we go, he's helpful to us. You're gonna break the voodoo? Thank you, giant snake friend. Gypsy curse. And then he just goes back home. Wait, what'd he do? He broke the gate and then he just left. Oh, cool. Let us go, then. 
what was it we were watching? It was Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero. Yeah. Where, like, Kaiba has these, like, elite four that he keeps... Oh, okay. Sanitary. Production of what? Swap guess? Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you. Alright, go on. Kaiba's got his elite four that he is, like, sicking on Yugi. Yeah, because he's and getting he just keeps kidnapping Yugi to take to these guys' HQs oh, yeah. or whatever. So he fights this doll dude. He fights the old man, which is the first of them, and he he, he wins because he's Yugi Moto. Yeah. And then it just cuts to him being back at school. Everyone just went home. No, no, it cuts right? to the guy just walking away from the mansion. Just, oh, yeah. And everybody went home after he won. Like, in every previous episode, the, the Yami Shadow Yugi either kills the bad guy or did, like, fucks it them up somehow. Yeah. Fucks up that lady teacher. She can't put on makeup anymore because it it looks fake. And they're just left there writhing in insanity. No, and they, they just they had a game and then they went home. You're honorable, old man. I'll let you live with your sanity intact. I remember this level. This this has a lot of spikes, if I recall. Spikes as in uh, in difficulty or no, as in physical spikes that you don't want to land on. Oh, I see. Bone Vine! My main problem with 2D Zelda games is hitboxes, says Sandy. Oh, good thing I got used to him. You're I gonna get shot. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm invisible. What What happened? Spikes. Oh, those, those spikes! Yeah. Yeah, I think... Maybe 3D dot, 3D dot Game Heroes I might enjoy slightly more than Zelda, but even then, it's the same kind of game. Uh, that's the that's the like PS3 Zelda knockoff that has a sword that takes up the entire fucking screen. Oh him, yeah, that one, yeah. Okay, what what old school SDS games have you have you not played that you're interested in? That I'm interested in? Uh, oh, I, I don't know. I don't really know ones that I would be interested in but haven't played. Uh, shit. I can tell you just the ones that I haven't played, I guess. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> I've never played a Metroid game, and I'm pretty sure I'm not interested in Metroid games. I've never played a Castlevania, and I'm pretty sure I'm not interested in Castlevania. You're, you're so, like, ready to poo-poo these genres. And I, just... I know what I like! You're just afraid to experiment. Pretty sure I'm not interested in Star Fox. Mega Man X, maybe. I'm not really crazy about, like, the NES Mega Man games, but I don't, I don't dislike them, so... X... Oh, those are spikes. Yes, those are spikes. You you were kidding about the spikes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not as interested in like the world of X just because I I kind I kind of like the just X Man theme better than uh, you know the animals you have in X. <laughs> but that's that's a minor thing. Sandy uh, Sandy is appalled that I'm not interested in Star Fox because. <laughs> you have a very boring taste in games sometimes. Yeah, I like a variety of things. <laughs> Many of which are unique RPGs. And thus we don't get to stream too often just because they take so long to get through. Yeah. Like we talked about at one point doing the Battle Network series, but that's another big undertaking when we already have way too many games we're playing. Yeah, I... <laughs> I was wanting to get you to like enjoy Earthbound, but you you I'm seem just not really interested in Earthbound either. I don't like like Final Fantasy esque RPGs. Earthbound's combat system. And yet, and yet I, gi I give you an RPG which has Paper Mario as like action combat system. You have the charm of Paper Mario to me. Are you gonna do something, Spider? I'm just gonna hang out. When are you going to stream Superman 64? I thought you'd never ask, Sandy. I look. I just as soon as we stream stream Rascal for the PS1. The fuck is Rascal? An infamously unremarkable PS1 game that like most kids who had a PS1 had. It oh, seems. God, how come we're only Maybe at not. nine? What the fuck is this? 
maybe not. Maybe it's just me who had it. And a couple. Oh, now you're back down here again. Fuck. That's fine. Like what? What's, what's the worst that could happen? I'm. It was just a bad PS1 game. Is all it was. Uh. It was. Is it worse than Bubsy 3D? No. Let's not be crazy. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure, actually. <laughs> it, it looked better than Bubsy 3D. Hey, maybe I will stream, uh, like, alone one of these days, because you you just don't want to, like, play the... the... Are you Frogger? <laughs> Frogger! Like, if you don't care about being around for that, that's, that could be a Zellrock solo stream. Frogger for the PlayStation. Oh, I want to see you play Frogger. I played that game. That game's not, like, easy. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, fuck. I, I have very few games that I'm able to play on my own because you want to be around for all of them. Okay, you can play Frogger by yourself. Fuck it. Like... Ah, oh, those are spikes. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure this out. Alarm first, and then you come back. I have disabled the alarm. I actually beat that PS1 sack of crap called Frogger. That impressive. I've gotten pretty far in it. I've never completed it. We're only at 14 isn't, of these things. Isn't there like, isn't that like a puzzle game more than a platformer? It's kind of, yeah. Shit. Are you sure we haven't missed anything so far? I've been scanning this the area. I'm just saying, this is a big club. Oh, hey! You know what we got? We got this! Rodentia Voodooium enjoys golf. They, Good to know. They all do! Mojo Dupree. Why are they? They're all just clones of the same dude. Mojo Dupree. Uh, how many mojos are there? Yo. Check the back there we where go. the platforms are behind we... you. To see if there are any uh, green things. No? Okay, we got them all. Nope. Well, nope. Yeah, that looks like a place... Yeah, that's the, where the safe is, so we'll get up there later. No, I missed some, because there are a couple down there. We haven't been able to get down there yet. We have to go further in the level, then jump down there, then go all the way around up here again. <laughs> Fun level, right? I love a game that forces me to backtrack. Uh... Well, I guess we're going to have to jump to the right and the left again. Uh, do you enjoy puzzles at all, or...? Depends. I guess Tomb Raider would be fine, the original Tomb Raider, it... It's not anything about the gameplay of that one that worries me. I, ge I don't generally like realistic games with just normal human characters, but... Oh, well, it's good, because you fight, like, wolves and shit. It's just Laura Croft is just a person, but... Are you kidding me? Laura Croft killed Bigfoot! Yeah. Like, in that universe, that she's introduced as being the one to find and, like, slay Bigfoot. Uh. It was... It's just, and then that... And then, and then it's like, hey, uh, Laura, you wanna... You wanna go and, like, hunt down this, uh, ancient stuff for me? I'll, I'll pay you a lot. And she's like, nah, I only do it for sport. I only played the demo for Frogger 2. Uh. Oh, check down. Yeah, I know, that, I know. That spot that we missed. I'm there trying it to, is. I'm trying to find the perfect uh, angle. Oh, that's where the. Hold on. No, that's. That's just, where the safe is. No, it's not. Is that? That's one you can smash open that has clues inside. Oh, never mind then. Fuck you. There are still spikes. Oh there. my god. I'm not used to it. There's no spikes in this game, and then suddenly, oh hey, look, spikes. Tomb Raider has auto aim though. Oh yeah, that's right. Laura Croft, uh, the method of combat is basically draw your guns, shoot at things until they die. Also dodge. It's combat. The game combat isn't really that game's focus. Yeah. It's all about like puzzles and exploration and like exploring tombs. That's why it's called Tomb Raider. Uh, I'd actually, you know what? If I were to play like a, like a that kind of a game, like a tomb, like a game about dungeon exploring, I'd rather play. Uncharted, because that's got, like, a more fun combat system. Yeah. And... There's just more going on in that game. It's not universal, but usually the games that really resonate with me are unique platformers and really unique RPGs. Uh. 
like the Battle Network series, Pokemon, Paper Mario, all of very- What the fuck? Series. Why are you going down there, Sly? Oh, you know, I thought it'd be a good idea if I just auto-aim for those spikes down there, or shove them right up my ass. Feels good, bro. Oh, sir, yeah, nothing. guy, you're fine. He didn't hear it. He's too busy thinking about golf. <laughs> oh. Robotech, maybe, then? I don't know anything about it. It's a game where you, like, uh, build uh, robots to fight for you, and there's a haunted house level in this futuristic sci-fi robot game. I feel like I used to have, either on GameCube or maybe it was on computer, a, a rather, a very unknown robot builder fighting game. Oh, is it called, uh... I have no idea. I'd have to track that down again and do it for, like, the de now, careful the spikes. Now, now, when you say, when I say robot game, I mean, like, you know, with arms and legs and, I think, personalities? Well, yeah, that's, I'm taught, arms and legs, yeah, I don't know about personalities in the one I'm thinking of. Alright, back up we go. Yep. <coughs> oh, well. What about tactical games? Like, Not really. Fire Emblem, no? Fire Emblem's story fascinates me, the gameplay not the slightest. Well, I'd be playing through it, so... So Fire Emblem's on ma uh, maybe, then? Eh. Okay. It'd be very slow. Maybe yeah, fast. Oh, shit! Maybe fascinates was a bit strong of a word. Oh, you- Wait, I die- Oh, yeah, because it's, cause it's not water, it's acid. Okay. Whatever, I got those bottles, I don't need to worry about it. Hello, Sandy. He says hi for some reason. Hello. Uh... Shit. It's kind of weird, because the games I like are just games you just don't really seem to have any time for. I, I thought you would enjoy Mark of the Ninja when I played it that one time, and you just were like, eh. Just kind of a generic platformer. <laughs> um, Zelrog, you have a visitor. Join me as we scoff at their gameplay tactics. Eh. Uh, who, who is my visitor, Sandy? Is it you? Or are you outside the window? Because that'd be kind of creepy. We've been infiltrated. <laughs> hey, but they, we still do have to get them. They stay dead. Still do have to get them over for that PS3 stream. Eventually. Yeah. Someday. Okay, the rest are over there. Racing games usually aren't my thing. The only, the exceptions, the main exception was Mod Nation Racers because of the customizability. <laughs> I love being able to make my own shit in games. Nice. That's not where I wanted to go, Sly, but whatever. Uh, are we going to have to get these and then go all the way up again? There's a platform in the middle of the waterfall you can land on. Is that waterfall no, toxic? No, it won't kill you. Oh, that's good. No, I think we have to go all the way around again. Not if I can help it. Can you help it? That's why I remember this level sucking. God damn it. It's all the retracing. Oh. Don't know what I was doing there. So this water just... Oh, no, it does... Wait, what? I don't know why it didn't let you do Maybe it's because you came off of a grabbable object? Can it not send you back onto a grabbable thing? I don't know. Only onto a standing platform? No, because it did that before. What? When? Uh, when I was, uh, getting- fighting that, uh, spider on the hook and I just kept falling off. Oh, onto a- onto a hook, yeah. Maybe you can't do it onto these. Uh, if you want to test it, you can jump off here, but- Nah, I'm good. I- I don't want to spend any more- longer in this level than necessary. Wait, you can't see his message, Pokemaster Corb. Uh, no. No such... Oh, yeah, that was the... Never mind. That was the person who said hi. <laughs> Hello, other person. <coughs> if you guys Battle weren't here tactics. for the start of the video, we're, uh, temporarily not on YouTube. Because, uh... For streaming. For some... 
for some reason, we it didn't tell us why. It just nope, oh, we can't stream on YouTube anymore. We're pretty sure it has to do with Digimon. They just didn't send us any kind of notice. They just said nope, no streaming. And they for usually send ninety YouTube days. Usually sends like all kinds of automated notices. So that's yeah, kind of weird. Oh. Well, I mean, it's weird because the video itself is just still up perfectly fine. Yeah, they don't have a problem with it. It's just the stream they had a problem with, despite all those people who just stream shows constantly on YouTube. Rick and Morty, no problem. You know, stuff that people are still like South, pay for. South Park, no problem. So those, those cable no network problem. shows that people are paying the cable companies for. But Digimon, can't air, can't show that. Then again, you said that was on Nick, a Nickelodeon channel now? Yeah, they're doing reruns of it. Oh, my God. Ah! Fuck's sake! Damn it, Jack! I didn't do shit! It just jumped off! Okay. And if you close your eyes... I'm having some severe fucking... Does it almost feel like nothing's what? really changed? God damn it. I want to be done with this level as much as you... I grab the fuck! Too much momentum! There we go, I grabbed it. Alright, let's keep going. It's fine, we got this. Like, I swear to god, I keep hitting- I hit circle, I, I grabbed the rope, and he just jumped off. You have to speed the movie up and put it in a little square in the corner of the screen with an ocean background. Oh, is that how those other- <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it does it matter which ocean? Can it be the Pacific? Does it have to be the Atlantic? Is there a specific ocean that's YouTube approved? <laughs> you know, I tried <laughs> I ocean. tried that and several methods like it while trying to get Bleach abridged on YouTube, and they just they were really anal about every one. But that was Viz, and and Japanese countries are co countries companies are notoriously stingy about uh, anime footage. You know, I, I, maybe that's why our streaming privileges were revoked. Because it was not Rick and Morty, because what? it was an anime Digimon. Because it was Digimon, an anime nobody gives a fuck about. Oh, the Arctic Ocean. That's a good ocean. Arctic. Yeah, we can... Okay. Jump on here. Jump. Don't jump off. Okay, good. We made it. He's not gonna come over. <coughs> there we go. So I can't go past this, uh... If you just run through it, it'll turn red. Oh, okay, well, I'm not doing that. I'm a ninja, I gotta be stealthy. Digimon reruns on Nickelodeon? That's what Jack said he heard or I, I saw it, not on, not on Nickelodeon, on, I think on it was on Boomerang? Boomerang's no. an adult uh, Cartoon Network channel. Okay, no, uh, no. One, was, one of the Nickelodeon. It was like, on one of the Nickelodeon like sub uh, channels. Yeah, like the, the sub accounts. Like Nicktoons or something. Something like that. Yeah. Why do you manufacture this? It's like that one dude in that uh, Magical Gift of the Snowman movie who just made a bunch of yuck. Made the yuck. Oh, whoa! Oh, the bird's firing his head at L you. Listen. Again. Okay, I'm sorry for trespassing, but... You can't I hit the head down, you I, just gotta keep moving. I can't hit the head except for the time I did. Well, just, it's easier to just keep moving. <sighs> I, want, I want this, I want it to be cool. What else was on Nicktoons? Uh, I think Nicktoons was the ones that were originally airing Dragon Ball Kai, weren't they? That would be surprising if that was true. I think that's what I knew them for previously. Nicktoons had Dragon Ball Kai, Disney XD had Gravity Falls, and the hub was the the Pony Network. Ah. The Which pony. I never got any. I never got any of them. Except because they're my on Discovery Channel now. Yeah, they changed it. <laughs> Are you sure there weren't any bottles back in that bird area? Damn. Because it was All a right. big area. I'll check. Check the Binocucom. Oh. Wait, what? There's something over there. Was oh, that? no, that's by the chest. By the safe. Alright. Okay. Yeah, those, those, are the, those are the rich family channels for, uh... 
privileged white kids. <laughs> Thank God for swimming lessons, eh, Sly? <laughs> Honestly, Hub was a really good channel. Oh, I, I believe it. Yeah. Didn't that also have a... Uh, that also had Dan versus on it, I think, was another Hasbro thing. Dan versus who? Just Dan versus everything. Eight. I'd heard it was a good show. It's just about an angry, cynical dude going around and getting pissed at things. <laughs> on the same on the same network as My Little Pony. Oh, where the people love things. Oh, right. It identifies Smashables too. Yeah, they're just on the safe platform. It looks like. All right, cool. Let's go. Whee! That probably peaks. <laughs> That's some hard cobweb. All right, all right, Bentley. What do you got for us? <laughs> It was just, it was just a simple cipher. It, like five w was, uh, was E, and then seven, G, and then one was A. E got. Ah, uh, yes, the decline of SpongeBob, and then the small incline. I remember when SpongeBob was eighty percent of Nick's programming. Yeah. Just like Teen Titans Go is now eighty percent of Cartoon Network's programming, apparently. Wait, perpetual slow motion. Oh, even when you're not in the air. That's cool, I guess. Uh, ultra slow. Not that we, like, move faster. It just slows the extra frames. So now we just... Save the frames! We play this way all the time and just, like, speed up the footage in post. And then we're at 90 frames a second. <laughs> slow I like, can ride backwards. It's like watching an MLG compilation. Yeah. It's that's one of the ways to cheat at speedrunning in this game. You play the whole game in slow motion and just speed up the footage. They'll never tell. <laughs> I guess They why they would. Oh, into the waterfall, okay. We <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> That's okay. You just, it's a little splashdown. It's like Splash Mountain. <laughs> I thought that was like a literal pit. Then I realized, wait a minute, what do I have to wor be worried about? Well, I it's can't a good die. thing you had so much reaction time. Oh, shit. <laughs> Man, every driver should be forced to like experience it in slow mo. That would that would decrease like draw accidents by like three hundred percent. Yeah. I don't know, though. That would probably just get people really frustrated and they drive even faster <laughs> oh, in slow motion. Road, road, but no, they have better reaction time so they could, like, stop and swerve really well. At a certain speed threshold, it doesn't matter what your reaction time is. You're just not physically going to be able to stop quick enough. <laughs> is this where... Hold on. This has to be new. Oh, no! Light psych! A ghastly voyage. <laughs> Alright, Bo, we took off that flamethrower and we got ourselves a machine gun on this here swap skiff. It's gonna be good! Oh, dang it. <laughs> High energy cannon! Yeah, so we found this here Civil War oh cannon and we found ourselves some nitrous and we thought it'd be a good idea to put them together. Oh my god, this is... Oh. We're, on a, we're on swamp decks, riding a hovercraft with a fucking laser cannon on it. What are we doing? <laughs> oh, you, you think this gets silly? Just wait till we get to the... Hold on, are there... Oh, hey, tower offense. Oh, no, they're... Okay, good. No, this is just a minigame level. Just fight, hunt it's and like ghosts. It's like a really shitty geometry wars. Hunt and go sit by you. Apparently the chat has has decided that Sly is a time god now. Oh yeah, because he can Wait, hold on. Can I- Oh, I can't- I don't have access to slow-mo. Oh, we have a tiny URL. Where's this gonna go? Do we really need it to go anywhere? Don't click it. I already clicked it. Why'd you click it? It's from Sandy. Oh. I guess that's okay. It's just a picture of a little fox fella. Oh, that's cool. 
Oh, okay, let's keep, keep going, I guess. This is an invasion! Dude's firing his head at you. This is so relaxing! Which version of Sly 1 are you playing? Uh, are, are there... PS2! PS2, if that's what you mean. If you mean, like, Greatest Hits version or original, I don't know. Is there a difference? I looked up, uh... I was looking up Jet Moto. Yeah? On, the, on like, Wikipedia the other day. Uh. And, uh... Apparently, there was actually a difference between the the original release of Jet Moto 2 on the PlayStation and the Greatest Hits version on the PlayStation. Oh, man. Like, they had more vehicles unlocked in the Greatest Hits version. And oh. I didn't... I thought they were just re-releases. I didn't know they ever made changes like that. Yeah, I guess they do sometimes. Like, uh, when you, when you uh, <laughs> have a game released in PAL, they add a few new stuff to it. Yeah. Because of, uh, you know, as like a thank you for putting up with the uh, PAL bullshit. There's also the HD version. No, this is not the HD PS3 version. This is the original PS2. Yes. <coughs> Good old 480p. Oh, okay. it's ghost juices! <laughs> it's Monster Girl's fuel. Liquid. Ectoplasm everywhere! Yeah, I, th I think the PS3 version would not have the black bars on the side that... For some reason are, uh... I think that's the... The composite to HDMI thing does that? Or maybe it's the Elgato, I don't know. On. Oh shit, here they come! Tower offense! This is a raid! Oh god, ow. Good thing I saved. Hey, yeah, go, I'm a thief. Got, got, I'm a thief! Greatest thief ever! Just Look how stealthy I am! <laughs> Damn it! I'm the best raccoon ever! We, don't, we haven't gotten to that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Was that in Sly 2? That was in Sly 2 during... Because remember, Sly 2 has pickpocketing. Yeah. What is the range on this thing? Seems pretty wide. Pretty big. Can't seem to hit that thing. Man, how come Spyro never operated a, a hovercraft with a laser cannon? Because that doesn't exist in his universe, I believe. Here, though, it's totally plausible. There we go. Yeah, I broke through. Get Jack. Right and oh, fuck off. Double header. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking flaming bird skulls flying at you. Okay, oh, I got one of them. Two of them. There we go. Yeah! Oh, one more coin and I can actually survive a hit again. We've both played through the first two Sly games before. We've not played the third one. I recently got it from a used game shop, so once we get through the first two, we'll be in new territory for the both of us. Yep. Oh, fuck. I've heard a complaint about the third one is that there are too many playable characters, at least a friend of mine has thought, so I don't know. We'll see. Did they ever make another one after the third one? I think they did. I think it was uh, Thieves in Time was like a fourth one. They made a movie, apparently. Or they're making a movie. That's not out yet, is it? The Ratchet and Clank one came out. Don't think so. I did it. So I think that's... We have all the keys in this now. We did it! Yeah! <laughs> Stealthy! Alright. Up here next. Oh, there's one more minigame. Down home cooking! Sure. Let's do it. Alright, we put the flamethrower back on the skiff, and, and now we're gonna do some cooking with it. With all the hay and feathers in here, a lot of minigames this chapter. Yeah. Because you can't. So we've got no choice. 
Oh, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got a deal. I died wanting chicken. The ghost and I have come to a gentleman's agreement. Make me gumbo, and you can have my key. All right, so what am I doing? Whacking chickens. Whack the chickens, avoid the roosters? I think so. so I think the roosters have dynamite on them. Well, as, as they do. Oh, well, that's obvious. Okay, come back here! Yep, there he is! No, roosters! Them motherfuckers! Wait, you know what I could do? That won't help you. Are you f sure? Look at this shit. Well, I guess it would. It slows down the timer as well. Oh, okay, got They're it. too close. <laughs> I'll improve my react. I'll use this to improve my reaction time. What if you use the electric roll? Oh, I want to try that out now. No, wrong one! Why wow, you do not turn quickly. No, it's it's not the best thing in the world. Yeah, I'm just gonna give up on that one. If only you could like ping pong like fucking ricochet. Remember Mucha Lucha? Oh yeah. That existed. Oh uh, you know what confused me? There's an actual wrestler called Ricochet. Yeah. He doesn't wear a mask, and I'm like, wait, Ricochet, isn't he that Mucha Lucha guy? And no, it's a different guy called Ricochet. Alright, so you get rid of the roosters by getting them to, like, hit each other. Yeah. Did the, did the pro wrestler Ricochet also talk to an action figure? Uh, no, he was mostly just really good at, like, flipping. Oh. Hence Ricochet. Had a couple of really good matches with a similarly flippy dude, uh... Was his name Rick O'Shea? No, it was just Ricochet. Oh, darn. Ah! <laughs> He was, uh, he was in Lucha Underground as, uh, as... Oh, I Okay. You died to chickens. Whatever. I'll refresh my life. Died to wildlife. <laughs> got killed by the... Those two Frieza soldiers that got killed by the wildlife. That's in they, the didn't, they didn't get killed by Vegeta. They didn't get killed by Goku. Just died to the local wildlife. That's in the new highlight reel. We talked about that in, uh, Thousand Year Door. Yeah. I figured. A bit of, a uh, intro, or, uh... Yeah, and, like, sneak creek peek for that, uh... Okay, you can hit each other now, thank you! Ah! I'm having a good time. Can I just stand on the fucking, like... No? You can, you won't be able to hit the chickens. But I will, I'll be safe from the roosters. Maybe. They'll probably still find a way to get you. That was a thing... That was oh, a thing in Jimmy No... Jimmy Notron. Neutron. Jimmy Notron. Was the t what was the the teacher was named Miss Fowl. Yeah. <laughs> because she, she was, was a always, bitch? Uh no, because she had a really long beak like nose and would always make noises. Why? Because because she's like a bird, get it? Oh. She wasn't a villain? No. <laughs> she's what just a weird the trait for a normal, like, good like teacher to have. You know, it's just a wacky cartoon character. Alright, back to the chickens. Man, nothing ruins your day worse than roosters getting out of sync. Rooster Jihad. <laughs> Unless they're Irish, I don't know. I, I don't know where I was going with that joke. What was it we were talking about today with the, the Pepperidge Farmer members? Uh, oh shit. We're talking about remembering something. Remember when, uh... Oh man, I, 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 I know what, I know what you're, what we're, oh, I can't that remember. That was before we watched, uh, Super, right? Yeah, we were... The, the, the we Sunday watching, Super, Dragon Ball watching Super. Watching Yu-Gi-Oh, I think, in the Season Zero, and... Right, I gotta ignore the roosters, I... I don't think you should ignore the roosters. I think you should deal with the roosters. I should have dealt with the roosters. I got no real way to deal with them, but can I? I'll just throw. I can just throw it on my hat, I guess. No, that takes too long. The Decoy. It's so 
useless because the animations for throwing things are so long. Yeah. Like, they really, they want to give you a bunch of moves, but they're also useless because they're so much slower than your cane. Yeah, the cane is the objectively the best weapon because you can just whack anything with it. Like, they want you to have cool moves, they just don't want you to use any of them. Oh, shit! Ah, uh, Warshoe, you're good. And it automatically destroys the other rooster, too. Good. Okay, listen. I I'm just hungry for some chickens! At least I got chicken. Oh, yeah, the infamous Leroy Jenkins. Who all he wanted was some chicken. Oh, it was YouTube. Because of the- when we found out about the YouTube shit with Digimon and, and our- Oh, yeah! No and we were remembering- Hey, you remember YouTube when you were- when you were- Remember 15-minute video limits? Remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Remember when video counts were like at like a thousand and that's that was considered successful? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Remember World Warcraft machinimas and YouTube poops. Those fucking they have a death wish! Holy fucking crap, Bruce! Shit! Stop it! They're running in the same circle! Nothing's gonna change! Alright, what you're are you yelling at me? I'm trying to fix the situation! Doing a shitty job. Hey! I did it! Shut up! I got my gumbo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just the ghost of Ant from Ed and Eddie. <laughs> I love chickens, Eddie. I like chickens. I, I want a character like that who like sounds like dumb like an Ed, but he's actually like smart and he, that's just how he talks. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's not a good idea. Trigonometry's all off. What do you know about trigonometry? I, I got a doctorate. <laughs> That I did, a yuck! Well, projectile keys. Oh, did we get everything? Oh, is there stuff we missed? I guess we're still short a key. Uh, da got down there. Got there. Oh, oh, he did unlock it. Okay, we're ready to enter the Skull Temple. Temple of Skulls. So jump up right in the middle. Right in the middle. Oh, okay, so Into that's... the Temple of Doom! The Temple of... The Temple of Go Fuck Yourself. What a weak ex What a weak blast that was to it's send him like, flying so far. It was far. like a... Eh. A deadly dance. Oh, here we go. Could feel that Koopa vibe coming. Most distastefully... Can you, can you turn down your boombox? We can't quite hear you. Up an army of ghosts in a very <laughs> I really hope the leveling improves in the second game. It does! It's on. But all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. God, we have to watch this every time we lose the fight, too. Do we? We can't skip it? She. I remember this being painful because she takes so long to deliver her lines. Yeah. Maybe you can skip it. I sure hope we can. Oh, platforming, boss. <laughs> this is a you know what? At least we're not trying to kill a vampire dog. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. No, I'm sorry. Why did you forget about that? No, that no. was weird. I saw a visual novel the other day that someone played that involved a vampire dog, and I was trying to think, how's Jack know about that? Wait, what? <laughs> I, to be fair, I know about a lot of things. Hey, you just you just want to like talk this out over some tea? Like, no, nah, she's just gonna stand there shaking what her mama gave her. All right, fine. No! Come don't teleport here. away. Can't run away forever. I can feel the passion behind that delivery. Square, triangle, Isn't circle, X. Yeah. I wanna see how well you dance, dance, dance revolution! Yeah. Dance, dance, revolution. Imagine if this was like a final boss in something. Just dance off. 
I, Mojo Ruby, will not allow you to approach me any further, or else I, Mojo Ruby, will be tainted forever. What? Oh, that's. Time it right. Fuck! You gotta go with the beat, man. Oops! Our but wait, I can't drown! Oh, what about the turtle? She killed her turtle! <laughs> she doesn't yeah, care. That ain't oh. cool, man. Hold you on. don't kill your own turtle. I'm gonna try something. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> There's no leveling? It's just. It's either on or off? Yeah. Fuck this game! <laughs> her farting, I oh, guess. okay. Thought maybe she turned into a deep one for a second. I hit X too! Oh, she, okay. Chickens. Alright, what do I Same second verse, same as the first. I can't drown, I'll hop back. No, okay. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> no, the voodoo disabled that technique. Oh, oh all the way back here! Do you Fuck. want me to do it? <laughs> it's not like it's gonna be any faster. You don't? Okay. <laughs> I got it. Maybe. Did they ever have, uh. You ever go to Little Caesar and they had one of those, uh, Simon machines that you can win prizes on? Yeah. The... Wait, you mean Simon like uh, Simon, Simon says, says? Yeah. Oh, not never. That was usually a Chuck E. Cheese thing. Maybe that was just this one. Oh, is that is there the one in town has it now? Not now. They used to. When I was a kid, they had a Simon machine where if you did, depending on how well you did, you could get prizes from the restaurant there. Oh. So I made a habit of playing it every time, and we'd get. Uh, breadsticks for the quarter cost to play because I was good enough at it. You, 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 yeah, I you ran it. them out of, you, you're they, the one, you're the, they got rid of it. They don't have it anymore. You became that guy. Yeah. I was too good at Simon Says. I got our family 25 cent breadsticks every time we go. I was the designated breadsticks guy. Slightly crashy music. 
music. now. It's like in Rayman. Oh god, this is it! It would so be so easy to fuck with you. Please don't! The temptation is strong. How are you gonna fuck with me? Zang, zang, zang! Okay, yeah, that won't work. Fuck off! <laughs> I am defeated! Look how defeated she is. She's so beat up. <laughs> Missing limbs and shit. <laughs> Ow. The Panda King! Panda King! Okay, China is an adventure continent, I can understand. Yeah. I kicked, I kicked three of your asses so far. Held notes for my pioneering ancestor, slight in common. Yeah. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Oh, he's so invisible. Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71. <laughs> oh, they, they have laws against that shit! Bars. Makes sense. <laughs> While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Alright, that was cool. We beat the voodoo was, by you! The final boss wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. No, it was not a, not a hard boss. Honestly, I... I I think she's the most fun boss in the game, personally. Yeah, you, you were really chopping at the bit to play it. That's alright. <laughs> I wasn't gonna let you, I was gonna beat it. <laughs> so next time on Sly Cooper, we'll be going to China. China. To face the Kung Fu Panda. We're gonna fight Jack Black. He turned heel. Oh, it was sub two hours. No, I, that was, that lo it was mostly that one level, the backtracking one, and that was... Yeah. <laughs> That's all right, though. It'll be a short slice stream. We'll yep. be back next time for a net. We're down to pretty much one week, one day a week that we both have shared off. Yeah, so. yeah, it work related stuff, uh, unfortunately. We'll so. see you the next time we get to stream and are not. We can't record. Di we can't stream Digimon, so that'll be another one we can only record offline. And yeah. After dark, so there's a good chance we will we'll be doing an offline video, not streaming. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. All Thanks right. for watching, guys. We'll Take see you next time. See you later. Take care.